The word in Hebrew for responsibility is achrayut. Achrayut is spelled aleph, chet, resh, yud, vav, taf. Achrayut is spelled the way it is because it's teaching us who we have an obligation towards, who we have a respons- responsibility for, and also how to fulfill and carry out that responsibility. The first letter of Achrayut is an aleph. Because the first person that you have a responsibility towards is aleph, ani. Yourself, me, I. That's what ani means, I. Aleph could also stand for isha, your wife, your spouse. Aleph could stand for av, em, kivar ava, em. The first people you have a responsibility towards is yourself, your wife, your father, your mother. That's the aleph of acharyut. The next letter after the aleph is the chet. Aleph, chet spells ach. Because then come your siblings, your brother. Ach means brother. Then comes your brother, your sister, and so on and so forth. Once you take care of your close ones, the next letter after the chet in achrayut is a resh. Aleph, chet, resh spells acher. Then come others. Then you take care of other people. But first, your first responsibility is yourself, is your wife, your parents, and your siblings. And then you can go and help other people. After you help other people, ach and acher, then you have achrai, alaf chet resh yud. Achrai means come with me. I'll take care of you. You make them feel comfortable taking from you. You make them feel almost as if they're doing you the favor by allowing you to serve them. So achrai, you say, come, I'll take care of you. I won't let you down. The next letter after the yud is above. Achrav means they will follow you. Once they see that you are the real deal, they will follow you. And they will feel comfortable taking from you. And finally, the last letter of achrayut is a tough because the first letter is the alaf. Because when you're responsible for somebody, you have to be responsible for them from Aleph to Tav, from A to Z. You take a commitment that I will take care of you. I'm not going to let you down. That is what Akhrayut means. You have a responsibility, of course, towards yourself, Ani, towards your wife, Isha, towards your Av and your Am, towards your father and your mother, towards your brothers, towards your siblings. Then comes everybody else. And then you make sure you make them feel comfortable. You say, Akhray, come with me. Akhray, they will follow you. And you'll make sure to take care of them from Aleph to Tav. Don't let people down. If you're going to take on a responsibility, take it all the way. Make sure that you show that you are committed. And most of all, make sure that you make them feel comfortable taking from you.